Hello everyone, welcome to another video of this revision series. In this video, we will talk about extra pyramidal tracts. In the previous video, we have talked about pyramidal tracts. These are tracts other than the pyramidal tracts, hence the name given. And these are mainly four vestibulospinal tract, reticulospinal tract, tectospinal tracts, and rubrospinal tracts. First, the vestibulospinal tracts. They are two types, lateral and medial, and lateral vestibulospinal tracts originate from lateral vestibular nucleus, then they descend ipsilaterally in the anterior funiculus and ends on the interneurons in the medial part of the anterior horn. Medial vestibulospinal tract, they originate in the medial vestibular nucleus, extends up to mid thoracic level. For lateral vestibulospinal tracts, they have afferents from both semicircular canal and otolith, but for medial, they have afferents from only semicircular canal. Lateral ones are mainly involved in maintaining posture and equilibrium in response to both linear and angular acceleration of the head, and in case of medial one, they maintain postures and equilibrium in response to angular acceleration only because they have afferents from only semicircular canal and lateral ones have afferents from both semicircular canal and autolith. Reticulospinal tracts, they are again of two types, lateral reticulospinal tracts and medial reticulospinal tracts. Lateral ones originate from medulla and medial one originates from pons and finally they end, they both of them end mainly on the medial group of the interneurons of anterior horn. Lateral reticulospinal tract maintains the inhibitory functions and medial ones maintains the extensor tone of the proximal limbs. Next, tectospinal tracts, they originate from superior colliculus, immediately cross over to opposite side and descends in the anterior funiculus. Finally, they ends on medial group of interneurons in the upper cervical segment of spinal cord. They helps in moving the head in response to auditory, visual and somatic stimuli. And rubrospinal tract, they originate from red nucleus in the midbrain, immediately cross the opposite side and descends in the lateral funiculus in anterior to the semicircular tract, oh, sorry, anterior to the cerebrospinal tract. And the afferents from cortex, cerebellum and globus pallidus. And the function of the rubrospinal tract in human is not clear, so the function is not specified here. So this is all about extra pyramidal tract, vestibulospinal tract, reticulospinal tract, tectospinal tract and rubrospinal tract. Thank you guys for watching.